Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me again for another night of Facebook Live. It is indeed a blessing to be here with you. I also want to recognize those that catch the replay from YouTube and or SoundCloud. I am your host, and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. Uh, tonight I'm posing the question to you. Is this your season? Is this your season? That is the question that I'm putting before you tonight. Also, guys, for you, you all that have not um, subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can do that. I'll put the link there in the comment section so that... Um, you can catch up on any videos or topics that we have done over the past 140 something days. So if you're here with me tonight, go ahead and give me a shout out. Let me know that you are here. And I appreciate you being here with me tonight. Is this your season? This is the question that I'm posing for you tonight as I plan not to hold you very long. Uh, just a word, however, we know that the school year is starting up for many of us in our area. And uh, if that's you, if you are an educator or if you are a student that is getting ready to go back into um, the learning institutions. I just want you to know that my thoughts and prayers are with you. Hello, Pastor Pitts. How are you, darling? My thoughts and prayers are with you guys. And um, here's to a Melanie. How are you, darling? A fantastic year. Uh, I have been requested to do a uh, nightly topic or a nightly talk on uh uh, just the words of encouragement for our college students, but I have not gotten that prepared yet. So, uh, nonetheless, for us that are going into the educational institutions and facilities, um, my thoughts and my prayers are with you all. Please do uh, everything that you can do to keep yourself safe and protected. That is foremost important more than anything. So the question I've asked tonight, is this your season? Is this your season? And we know that in the uh, word of life, it, it in the, uh, Ecclesiastes, I believe it speaks about, uh, you know, for everything, you know, there is a season. And uh, when we talk about seasons, it, it, it's just about that time or uh, it, it's talking about, uh, is this... Um, Excuse me just a minute. Is it opportunity there for you now uh, to accomplish all that uh, you have set out to, to do and hope to be? And many of us, you know, we sit around and we, we wait, we wait, we wait, and we use excuses rather than taking um, the opportunity or rather to take a risk or to take a chance on something that uh, we really desire to do, we want to do. We know that 2020 hasn't been the kindest when it comes to um, putting a monkey wrench or whatever, or putting barriers or obstacles in our way. But what 2020 has done is offered us all opportunity to be creative so if it is your season then I pose the question to you now what are you waiting on what are you waiting on and many of us are waiting on somebody else to open the door many of us are waiting on someone else to give us approval but today if this is truly your season I want to encourage you or I want to challenge you to just step out and take the risk. Because if this is your season, then 
the way has already been made for you. So instead of looking at somebody else to affirm or to give you the okay, sometimes it is up to us to just make it happen. Have we really looked at what our options look like? Have we really looked at um, the, the demand for what we have to offer? Have we really gotten out and made the connections and, 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 and really spoken up and, and, and really looked at um, what we have? that others need or what we have that others desire that others are waiting on what is it that you have been just sitting on all this time what is it and many of us we say well we started a business or we started this and then uh, we weren't really committed to it and after all of this we just give up on it it, it all that is is an excuse because when it's our season it does not matter what comes our way. It does not matter uh, what it looks like. We are focused in on what we have committed ourselves to do. And so if that looks like uh, making some necessary changes so that you can uh, still produce, if that looks like making some connections, that you haven't necessarily made so that you can still produce. If that looks like really looking at ourselves and getting real with ourselves to know that we're no longer making excuses. We're going to get out of here and get it done because it's our season. Now, the thing about seasons is seasons change. Seasons change in our lives, guys. Time is always moving. Time is always moving, which means it's not waiting on us for us to finally make up our mind. So when we are in our season and we really know that we're in our season, that's when it's time to move. And it's time to move even when it looks like the odds are against us. Because we know by now everything is not what it seems. Everything is not what it looks like. And oftentimes, we are the ones that are in our own way. So I posed a question for you again, or to you again. Is this your season? And only you can answer that. You know, we've been so privy to uh, say all these cliches. It's my winning season, and it's it, it's my season uh, for for greatness and all of this. But do we really believe and are we really expecting the things that we say that we are? And so this is where we're at tonight. If this is your season, I want to encourage you to do what it takes to be productive. Do what it takes to be productive. Because if we wait and continue to sit on opportunity which this is what it is the skies are the limit this is opportunity there's no better opportunity than now to be planning to be productive to be producing no better time than now there should be nothing in our way that uh, keeps us off focus no distractions to keep us from committing to our plans and our goals. Okay? So, is this your season? If it is, what is it your season to do? And now, what are you going to do about it? Okay? And we know that we can't do it all the time alone. There are some things that we have to have uh, someone else to uh, connect with. We have to have someone else to um, share information, to give us the know-how, and we have to be willing to trust that uh, it's okay sometimes to ask for help. So for you guys, um, 
that you're just sitting and waiting on 2020 to move on out the way or for COVID to move on out the way or um, or the unemployment uh, to to stop going down, uh, to, to stop waiting on these jobs and things to get better, to stop waiting on the economics of our uh, communities to get better. It's a better time than now to move and be productive, okay? So I, I, that's all I have to say tonight. Is it your season? If it is, let's get to it, guys. No more time wasted. No more time wasted. Because time isn't promised to any of us. Right? Time isn't promised to any of us. All we have is right now. And if it is our season, we got to move with our season. Because we don't want to sit on it too long and allow time to pass us by. So I'm talking to you. Talking to you. No longer procrastinating, right? Let's get on it. Let's do what we have to do. Let's make this the best season of our life. I appreciate you joining me tonight. I am your host, Antricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. I'll see you right back here tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Good night, everybody.